show us how. Look at where you came from. Look at you now. Hi guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm back with a super exciting slime review. The slime shop I'm reviewing today actually reached out to me and I checked out their slime shop and I loved it so much. So they sent me a slime package for free, which was so nice of them to do. And when I say underrated slime shop, this slime shop is so underrated. They're from Amsterdam and their name is Kawaiian Slime Amsterdam. I'll have their shop and Instagram page linked in the description box below. You guys should definitely check them out and support their slime shop and for today's post notification shout out there are two of you guys and the first one goes out to cat face and melissa chiang thank you guys so much for having your post notifications on and if you guys want to get shout out in my next video make sure you click the little bell after you subscribe and comment them down below when you've done that also real quick just wanted to mention that my slime shop is pretty much all out of stock and we're restocking thursday august 5th at 8 p.m eastern standard time which is 5 p.m pacific standard time make sure you guys set your alarms and I will definitely be posting a restocking video. And I think that's it for this intro. So let's get right into the Slime Shop review. Woo! So here's my beautiful package from Kawaii and Slime Amsterdam. It came wrapped in a pretty heart wrapping paper and I was so excited opening this because it felt like I was opening a mystery box and it was so big too. Mystery slime packages are definitely my favorite to open. And you guys, I absolutely loved the presentation and everything about this slime box. They just nailed it. It was such a fun package to unbox. There was also a really cute box inside that was gift wrapped with ribbon. It just felt like Christmas morning opening up this whole package. So many amazing extras and they even included a pink unicorn poppet. I loved it so much. I also love their slime care guide along with the slime activator and softener they provided. And I also noticed two overflow containers, which was really nice to have because these slimes definitely inflated. And there was also a nice handwritten note from them. So cute. They also sent me so many extras, which was so nice of them to do. So thank you so much for sending this again to me. And all slimes were also nicely bubble wrapped under the tissue paper. I'm so obsessed. They sent me six slimes to review. First up, we have Kawaii Candyland. This is an eight ounce container of slime and it's a multicolored Bingsu bead slime. It looks like it's a pink, yellow, and orange Bingsu slime. And it came with a packet of so many pretty add-ins along with a lollipop charm. Due to international shipping and just the hot summer weather, this slime did melt in transit. So I reactivated it off camera. But after that, it was good as new. And unfortunately, I didn't show the mixing process of these colors, but it turned into a pretty vibrant coral color. I also forgot to mention, I love their slime logo and labels. Every single slime came nicely labeled. And I love how it says the texture and scent right on the label, which is so helpful. This slime is scented like sour candy. It's a fairly strong scent that smells really good. I love sweet candy scents. This slime is super crunchy and it has some really nice pops too. I definitely recommend this slime. Next up, we have this cute little container of slime. This is raspberry bubbles. It might be a three or four ounce container of slime. I'm not really too sure. The slime was also a little sticky, so I just added in some activator and after that, it was great. The texture is a nice, thick, semi foam slime that came topped with pretty pink foam beads. I love the added texture from the foam beads and it also gives this slime some nice bubble pops too. It's a pretty stretchy slime for how thick the texture is. I also love this scent. It has a raspberry scent that isn't overpowering at all. It's a pretty light scent, but it's still noticeable. I love it. And here we have Forest Dreaming. This is another eight ounce container of slime that comes with this large, adorable deer charm that matches the sticker on their container. And it also comes with a fun packet of add-ins so you get to decorate the slime yourself. 
I love how this slime looks when it's all put together. It is so cute. I did have to add a little bit of activator to the base as well, but after that, it was perfect. It's a super crunchy micro foam slime. It's so fun to stretch and inflate because it's so sizzly and I just love hearing the crunches too. Micro foam slimes are so underrated. I feel like a lot of shops don't make them, but I love this texture and I'm so happy they included it. Let me know whether or not you guys like micro foam slimes in the comments below. The slime has a sweet chocolatey scent that's fairly strong and it's so good. It's definitely fitting for the slime. I love it. And here we have Blueberry Pancakes, which is a fun DIY clay slime. Packaging is amazing. I love how it came wrapped and tied with a ribbon. Unboxing packages like this just makes me so happy. This slime came with a container that had three clay pancakes in it that look so realistic, and they were packaged really nicely so they didn't stick together. There was also a clay butter piece in the shape of a heart and blueberry charms. In the kit, you also get a container of blueberry jam, which was a nice thick jelly slime slime and you also get a container of pancake batter and you can't forget the syrup. So to assemble the slime I just took some of the pancake batter and layered it between the pancake layers to make a bigger stack and then I put some jam on top along with the butter and blueberries and then I just drizzled the syrup on top of that. This was honestly so much fun to put together and also a lot of fun to mix. It was pretty clay heavy initially so after I mixed it up a little bit I just decided to add in the rest of the slimes to see what the final texture would turn into and the three slimes mixed into the clay so well it turned it into a nice thick fluffy slime it's such a stretchy slime and it's super inflating too it's great for poking and also has really good bubble pops one thing i really love about this slime is the scent it's a fairly strong blueberry maple pancake scent it smells so realistic and fits the slime so well if you love diy clay slimes i highly recommend this one Here we have Kitty in the Garden. Packaging again is goals. I just can't stop repeating myself. I love it. I appreciate the time and effort it took to make this package so much. They included all the charms in a cute little plant pot and this slime came with so many decorative pieces. It was so much fun to put together and it also came with this adorable shovel to make it look so realistic. I was so happy when I felt the texture of this slime because it's a cloud slime which is another one of my favorite textures. And it's not just any cloud slime. This cloud slime texture is so amazing. It's so soft and fluffs up really nicely, and it's so drizzly too. It reminds me a lot of the cloud slimes I reviewed from Peachy Babies and Trill Slime before. It has a slightly wet residue, which is pretty typical with cloud slimes. But one thing I noticed is that there's hardly any snow fallout, which is amazing for how drizzly this slime is. It's scented with a floral scent that smells really good, and it's so fitting for this slime. I love this one too. And lastly, we have Kawaii Rainbow Cereal. Again, I cannot get over packaging. Love the gift wrapping, and inside was an even better surprise. They included a handmade cereal box that had their logo and a bunch of different stickers on it. This kit also came with an 8 ounce thick and glossy slime that was scented like Fruit Loops. It did melt in transit, so I just reactivated it, but after that, it was great. So I just put the slime in the bowl they provided and topped it off with all the add-ins they included from the cereal box. I love this DIY especially because they provided the bowl and spoon to just give you the full DIY experience. This slime is really thick but it's also so stretchy and the bubble pops you get from this one are so good too because of all of the add-ins. I highly suggest checking out Kauaian Slime Amsterdam shop and let them know I sent you. Their slimes are such high quality and everything was just amazing from the packaging to the slimes itself. Thank you so much again for sending me this package. I'm so happy I discovered your slime shop.
you guys this week. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching today's video. Let me know if you guys love these underrated slime shop reviews and also let me know more famous and underrated slime shops to review in the comments below. I'm always reading your guys' comments and taking all of your suggestions, so let me know. And as I mentioned earlier, don't forget to save the date Thursday, August 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. My slime shop will be fully restocked. We are bringing back sour and watermelon sugar, so if you guys are interested in either of those two slimes, definitely get to the shop early because there's going to be very limited quantities of them. If you aren't already a member of the K-Squad, hit the red subscribe button down below and join the fam. I'd love to have you guys. Thank you all so much for being here. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!